Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a one brand curly hair routine using the Curls line, the Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly and the Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. I love this stuff and I am super excited to show you guys my curly hair routine using this. So if you guys want to see how I achieved these curls using the Curls line, just keep on watching. I just got out of the shower. I'm going to take my hair down out of my Diva Curl hair towel. I'm just going to part my hair where I would normally part my hair and how I want to style it. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these one brand curly hair routines. Now I'm going to place a decent size amount of the reparative leave-in conditioner in my palms and I'm just going to work that through my hair from the root to tip. And I really focus this on the frizziest parts of my hair. So that would be the back part of my hair and towards my scalp. And then I work it down to the ends of my hair. And then I also take an additional amount and then I work it specifically on the ends of my hair. And I just work that through with my hands. And then I'm going to go in with the Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Jelly. I love this stuff and I'm going to be placing that right on top. This stuff smells like blue Jolly Ranchers. It smells like candy. It is just the most heavenly smell. I just love how this stuff smells and I love how this stuff applies to my hair and makes my hair look and feel. And then once I have evenly distributed both products throughout my hair, I'm going to start finger coiling. And this method is going to give you very defined curls. I love using this method with this brand because I just get the most defined, voluminous, and soft curls. I just love how it turns out. And I'm just going to be pulling my hair towards my face so that it will frame my face. And then I'm just going to be taking small sections and I'm just going to be finger coiling. I take smaller sections towards the front of my face where my hair would normally fall and just frame my face just because I want some added definition in the front section of my hair. My hand is just chilling. <laughs> and if you need additional slip, I just add some water and then everything is reactivated and I have great slip again. I was listening to the hairspray soundtrack this whole video, so I was jamming guys, sorry. <laughs> and now we're going to work on the other side. And we're going to get the conditioner all over, but you know, can't let that go to waste. Gotta get your money's worth, girl. And just finger coil your little heart out on the other side. And we're done with that. Now I'm just going to scrunch the ends of my hair just to give a little bit extra oomph at the bottom. And I'm gonna air dry, just kidding. No, I'm gonna diffuse because it's gonna take a million years. Now I'm going to diffuse my hair and hopefully it will be dry by the end of that. I usually use medium heat and sometimes if it's taking forever, which it usually does, I will switch to high heat, but I usually try to stick with medium heat. And then once my hair is about 90% dry, I'm going to separate my curls. And this is going to give you added definition and added volume. I love how this turns out. Look at the ends. And then I'm just going to separate those curls. There's something just so satisfying in separating your curls. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I love the volume and the definition and the shine this gives to my curls. This really makes the ends of my hair look really nice. And here is the final look. 
thank you guys so much for watching please let me know if you enjoyed this tutorial I know this is highly requested a lot of you guys wanted to see this video so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for new videos every week and if you guys have a curly hair brand that you want me to try next make sure to list it down in the comment section again thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time bye guys